Yeah, good luck, everyone. All right, guys. 50 laps at Auto Club Speedway. Let's do this thing. There goes the pace car. Zach's going to bring him down and go on not green. That's how a pro restarts. Not pace car, not green. Just go when they're not expecting you to go. Really washing out, coming off the corner. Thought I was going to be able to hold that and pick up a couple spots. I'm holding it coming off the four here. Everyone's fanning out. I'm going to ride a little bit high. I know it's not as quick, but I don't want to get doored. I don't have triple monitors, so I don't have the vision down there. Right now, this is a one group track. More groups might open up as the tires wear out. We get some rubber down, but some temperature into the track, but right now it's the inside or nothing. Cars come up through the pack. I think he was one of the ones maybe that didn't set a time. It ended up being a three wide pass. 25 got the wall again. Just like that, we're running eighth. It didn't work out badly at all. No, I've never talked to Truex in real life. Have you? Oh my, there's a caution. Alright, old dog, spill the dirt. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's your Truex experience? Pit road is closed. I didn't go down, but I didn't even get into you. Just went down in the wood and I let off, and the next thing you know, I caught right to you and I got ran over. Long runs here are a blast. I just don't think we'll get any. Hey, Justin, can you tell me how bad the right side is, please, bud? The right wheel looks like it's crushed in. Line up behind Sides like in the middle part, not too much damage from my view, you no know, there's a somewhat damage near the wheel well. <laughs> you you used to race with form, Truex online? But most of it's on the left rear. Okay, so, so yeah, oh that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say, a lot of us are not the, the best people when we're when we're racing online. But that's cool, man. I've raced with Denny on here. It's fun. Can we stay all the way next to the wall, please, for until we get to our stall, please? Yeah, no shit. Can't even find mine. Can you drive on the right side of the dotted line, please, till you get to your stall. There we go. Hey, if people are going to go low, I'm going to go low. Oh, and TeamSpeak. Yeah. Well, that's that's too bad. All right, buddy. Line up behind the gate. Because it seems like a nice enough guy. Uh, 
on the racetrack. He, ra you know, from what I can see, his race is clean. Says the right things in the interviews. But you know, you got to be a hard-nosed racer to get to that level. Um, I don't know. There's some. There are definitely some people who uh, well, consider me a great a asshole based on how I am on I mean, social media and stuff. As as I as disagree with them, and argue the, politics and whatnot. Good, so. Good. Yeah, fire man. Uh, I know. I, I I do that all the time. That's a shame, though. I can't see my pit stall. I gotta go low. I mean, I'm getting kind of screwed too. But so. like, sorry for screwing Trucks you, and Denny. <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah, no, I mean, Trex and Denny Hamlin, you can definitely say they are, you know, like, they're pure business, um, especially when they put that helmet on. And guys like, you know, Dale Jr. and Tony Stewart are a little bit more loose, but, yeah, you can see, you know, Trex and Denny Hamlin both, they carry a lot of, uh, you know, tension in their posture and whatnot. Yeah, there might be a glitch, too. I screw everybody. Uh, yeah, that was so was cool seeing him win that championship. That race yesterday me. was seriously one of the best races I've ever seen. Count it down for me at least seven. People are going to be going low like that. It actually help a lot. So we learned on that first start that you don't want to be on the outside. You want to get down low as quickly as you can, at least while the tires are fresh for the first three, four laps at minimum. Um, but, okay. I'm sure I've it off. you know, if you carry your momentum on turn one and two, you can kind of hold it. I just need to, What's I had to squeeze. Race, okay? Yeah, man, Dale Jr. is just, Dale Jr. is cool. I'm going to miss watching him race, but it's, I'm glad that he's still going to be a part of the sport. It's going to be cool seeing him around the track. And you know they're going to interview him every chance they get still, so that's cool. Alright. There we go, NASCAR rules. I didn't change lanes. The inside line determines where the lane is, so... We are hanging on to sixth spot. Right behind Key and Riley Hal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't even know what happened, man. It was just tight race. Tight race on lap eight. Forty three to go. Can't have a good race up here. It never fails. Uh, I constantly get up and I'm caught up in other people's crap. I know where to go. I don't know who I nailed, but I couldn't see shit. Sorry. Yeah, I know that was on me, Tony. Come line up behind the seat. Sorry, game. dude. Sounds like that was a big one. Still got. Go, I'm blown up. I'll skate though. Around, around, 19, 20 cars left. What do we start with? 26, 27? I'm not calling it I, I pacing or anyone. Anyone calling it I wrecked. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Get a little bit better, Hill. That was one lap on the tires. Check one, two. Check one, two. So if we're going up. Open. Open. No. I mean. Yeah. Key and no one's buying that, man. Come on. I expected at least one car to go. Can't fool me. Yeah, man. I, How are you calling, Dave? I'm hoping that now that Dale Jr.'s retired from driving. And okay, cool. I could be wrong on this, but my prediction is that we're going to see him on iRacing a lot more because he really likes this stuff. It'd be really cool. Damage, 
Maybe we'll see him in the peak Annie for your series. <laughs> That'd be fun. Fuck. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I was getting ready to I gotta get, that's man. motivation to get better so that, you know, if you get good enough, you get to race with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah. Although he probably runs the open series more rather than the fixed stuff. Well, he's running close to the car in front of him. And it's probably the goal for you know, 2018 is really learn how to set up these things. The Mike, if you're still on, Excuse me. we're going to set up a team for that. And actually... Old dog, I don't know. Uh, hey, I'm, call you, I'm assuming you're on iRacing too. We should. Uh, we'll get a team going with this channel. Um, you know, as we get some more viewers and stuff, we'll get a little team going, do a little setup trade and stuff. We'll start that up as uh, things grow here. It'll be a lot of fun. See, that's why you got to stream, you know, then you got something to do during the cautions. You just kind of run your mouth. Uh, yeah, sorry, Tony. I was on the brakes, man. I had a lot of rear brake in it, so I just kind of like cooked it right into you. Sorry about that. Bailey Glintz, manual disconnect. All right, two to green. Such a wide track. Oh, one. I got 34 minutes. I got 34 minutes to repair the rear. Where this race is going? It's only been 10 laps. You gonna be able to get back on it? Hey, Justin, while you're uh, repairing your car, come join the resistance at Twitch.tv/slash John underscore underscore Theodore. Where is that, by the way? Is that like YouTube or something? It's similar to YouTube, but better for gamers. We're thinking about this restart a little bit. We will be on the outside. Oh, okay. One minute 42. Eight, Just punch twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore into your browser, and you too can join the resistance. Well, I'm on full screen, so I have to like this out. I'm uh, sitting here and wait to see what happens. If you guys get a long green, I'll probably leave. Good deal, good deal. Alright, we're getting ready to go back green here. One word of advice, you know, it, it be careful with it. If you got a higher end wheel like a found attack, I think that it handles it better, but... I, uh, in my early iRacing days, I actually broke a G20, Logitech G27 by weaving the car back and forth like that, because uh, the G27's got little gears in there, and you can snap the teeth by weaving your car back and forth too much. You gotta be a little more gentle with, uh, with that wheel. And some of them just come defective. The going through about three or four so I figured out how to get the settings right, and also got one that would last, that was built right. Hey, the car's down, be ready. Uh, the 26 got a better restart that time. The outside line didn't go at all. Keen's making it three wide. Will it blend? There we go. Top five. 
This week on Will It Blend, NASCAR stock cars at Auto Club Speedway. So that's two laps on these tires. I think we're still going to stay out here. I don't know how many damn cars we had. Why don't I counted each one of them. So there's no collision off the pace bar. That like, freaking terrifies me every time I see that like thing like riding with my rear mirror like, like that. Glitch. Looks like you will be lining up behind the stick. I got a really good restart, but he just decided to hold me on the apron. So. Really good restart means you went before the leader did. That's not a really good restart. I went exactly when the leader did, man. You'd be lining up behind the stick. Or you're on the two hand, whenever he went to turn one. I don't blame you for holding me on the apron, but it's a little bit excessive. We all better pit for tires. I think I broke the steering base trying to keep that a straight line. I just don't know how last caution you complain about why you can't have good racing up here and then you pull a move like that on the restart. I did nothing wrong. You just didn't get going. <laughs> And then you just force me to the bottom of the racetrack, don't lean back up. It's just unfortunate nice. and ridiculous. Lucky dog. That's all I can say. We're gonna have a map down car coming. Yeah, tempers, tempers. Watch your play. He, he went exactly in the lead there. You kind of hesitated a little bit. You're gonna I be lining up out. behind the I mean, nine. He could have lifted and got to stay behind you, but I mean, he's got to take advantage of every spot he can. You know? Now that's true. As competitive as this is, you've got to get every. You got to take advantage of every opportunity. But at the same time, it is funny because he's complaining about people in the back wrecking because they're racing hard, and then yeah, it's like yeah, like I said, there's nothing wrong with what he did, but he could have lifted and made it a safer situation through one for everyone. The only thing I will say was he was laying back quite a little bit, and then he like gassed it and lifted it and gassed it as soon as the leader went. So I don't know, it's a tough call there. Yeah, it's not really going early, but what you're doing with that is you can carry a little bit of momentum rolling up on the car, so you then pick up the speed at the same time, but your momentum carries through, and so you get a better restart. People, be careful. One three ride under call set. Let's just go a lap before we start racing like that. So I, say. I don't know. If he's going to make a move like that, you can't get mad when I make a move like I did. I agree. That was that was good hard racing on both of you guys. I I I assess no fault for that. I just call it restart games. Close. How it is? I mean, it, it it's just like some of the stuff we saw this you know this past weekend. Hard racing's hard racing, and guys are gonna get. You expect guys get to get mad about it because they're racing hard, and you you know. But it's hard racing. We've all done it, and if you haven't, you're not trying. Our space car. Coming up too. Uh, yeah, so I finished my beer. And I finished my other beer it's earlier on the well, last race. So. We put two beers down. Stay the bottom and had a car We're running in the top five at Auto Club Speedway. Going. Lap 16 and 50. Yeah, we, have, we are under caution number three. We have not gotten much green flag Somebody running. Somebody explain to me how I would have seven minutes and 50 seconds of damage from tapping the wall out of four. Did you hit it? Uh, did someone else hit you? Set. No, I just... Swerved a bit to the right, spun it around alongside the wall, all cars missed me, got back going, caution. My speed, you must have got engine damage too. Square, like I hit flush twice and it only gave me 27 seconds, so you probably hit it like on the corner of the front nose or the rear or somewhere. 17, you're blinking a little bit just so you know, man. Coming to the green this It's pretty bad. 
one minute forty two point two two seven. But just make sure we guard to the inside on this start. So I think we're gonna hit. We have more well, than enough fuel to make the end down. down there into one. Which takes the green flag pit stop out of it. This is just gonna be the run. Or just run as best we can. Best thing that could happen right oh, here is we get another really good restart and the inside line goes and the outside line gets jammed up again and we gain two spots and end up third place fighting with the leaders coming off of two blink all right here we go down into third gear down into second gear love the, love the shifts on the van tech shifter it's just so much fun to throw the gears around with this thing all right here we go these cars off. I did not get the start that I wanted. It around. That was my fault, man. I'll be quick to aid for it, but it's like you just stopped. No, nah, that wasn't your fault. I clipped the apron and I was just super side. I was dirt tracking it, trying to save it. I don't blame you for getting in the back of me at all. I hope your front end isn't messed up from that. I got no damage. I'm sure they'll wreck again. Dang it, we had a good top five going. Just clipped the apron and that was all it took. Now we're buried. Wrecking, wrecking, wrecking. There it goes again. All right, you tell me about your car, but kind of, what is that laying up your road? First time this race that I've been happy to hear the caution. Yeah, why don't you go make sure what that is. We don't need to fly later. The road is closed. Line up behind the 24. What are you guys doing? Trying to see and get Nah, that's not fair, guys. You can't change the rules on Zach like that halfway through. The road's open. He's so far behind the rest of us. Get behind the nine. Thirteen pit stall. There it is. I got no damage. Twenty six. How about you? Uh, zero. <laughs> Good 
deal. Yeah, I think I, I actually think that I was going to go around anyway before you hit me. Like, the contact just finished me off, but I was trying to catch the slide and just couldn't catch it, and then I think it broke loose right before the contact happened. Yeah, see, from my view, I couldn't tell. It just all of a sudden, there you were, you know. I was, it was like he checked up, and I didn't have time to react. Yep. No, yeah, I, I clipped the apron earlier in the corner because they were three wide to the outside of me. And uh, I just barely touched the paint, and it sent the back end out a little bit, and I was dirt tracking it all the way through and just couldn't quite hold the slide and get it back straight coming off. Gotcha. It sucks, man. I'm trying to I just keep trying to, you know, I want to put one complete race together without having to fall all the way back and spend the entire race getting back to where I was. Not quite. So we're in 14th now after running in the top five. <sighs> Which is about the tail end of the lead lap. Some of these cars have damage, so we might still get a top five out of this whole thing. We'll see. I don't think we're challenging. I mean, we weren't going to challenge Zach for the win anyway, I don't think, but we're definitely out of contention for that now. Just in case we have to pit again. up there's got nothing on the back end of his car so worried about the speed that some of these guys are going to have we still got a lot of racing left 38 laps to go it's going to be 37 to go I mean one to go we're not even halfway, or, well, we're sorry, 27 to go. Not even halfway one yet. Minute so there is time to get back to where we were. I'd love to come away from this thing with the top five. Got to channel what I did at Homestead when I started 11th and raised my way up to 4th. That was in a 50 lap run though, we're only going to have 27 laps to do this deal. less spots but there were less damaged vehicles in that one too so that's the seven that's missing his back end seven you're missing your entire rear bumper cover and every rear deck lid everything well not the deck lid you still got your spoiler Tall fork here. Yeah, it does. Double check your steering wheel. You look at your seatbelt, or <laughs> double check your seatbelt. You look at your steering wheel there. Make sure everything's okay. Got the fuck. Hi, right, boss man. Face guard's off. Do your thing. I think the seven's underpowered. In the bottom, one minute thirty-five point two. Is it going anywhere? Oh, you may not. oh, we're gonna get Logan here coming off of two. Outside. I was gonna let you go there, John. John. Still outside. I was gonna let you go there, John. Clear. It's all right. I wanted the inside. Still there. Okay. Still there. Okay. 
I don't mind racing you for it. It's 11th. So we're already up three spots in a lap. We're going to dig for more. Inside. And that's giving us more. One more. Seven cars come back. Apparently, he's not under power. So we're back in the top ten. Get five more spots, and we're back to where we were. He's going to be halfway. Actually, we are halfway. 24 to go this time by. Halfway next time. Keep it up. 39.383. Side by side up in front of me, that's what I like to see. Let them slow each other down. Catch back up to the 26, I want to blow right past him. <laughs> Again, I hold no ill will for what he did. It was not his fault. I still want to beat him. I was in front of him. I want to beat all these suckers. Got a fast car. I feel like I'm pretty good at this track. I want to beat every single one of them. Zach is just gone. This is all, all of us scrubs racing for second place here. Look at that lead that he's opening up. Saved it. He lost momentum in position and grip. <laughs> it makes your tires so mad when you lose it like that off the corner. 21 to go. We're in the draft now. There we go. Let's get a little bit of a run here. They're wrecking. Eight strikes, like guys. Lining up behind you don't have to fucking hit your brakes. Twenty laps to go, man. Twenty laps to go. Tried to let you know, too. Sorry, I had to finish. I'm supposed to talk about that time. All right. They could be lining up behind the six. How many laps left, guys? Uh, twenty. So there will be fifteen to go now when we get the green again. Ah, oh, that's going to give him his spot back. Dang it. Dang it, 16. I was hoping it wasn't going to give you your spot back, man. Behind the 16. Pit road is open. Hey, 13, listen, I was not trying to run you hard. I was trying to give you the inside, I mean the outside lane capacity, and I was not trying to block you. No worries, man. Like I said, I don't mind it. 
blocked all time. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just kidding. I don't know about you guys, but I get on here to race. I don't care if people race me hard. Yeah, I stopped giving a shit about I rating, so I've lost a thousand already. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm stuck at 2300. I can't get past it. I do good, and then I get caught up in everybody else's crap and go back down. It's like up and down, up and down. Yeah, I was up to like 5,000. I just kept getting wrecked, so I was like, yeah, the hell with it. I'm done trying. Justin, with your speed, man, you should be much higher I rating than that. I mean, wreck avoidance is a skill. You develop it over time. I know. I was in Division 2, and then I got wrecked a bunch of times. I caught up in everybody else's stuff. got promoted to Division 3, and I just can't. I'm a, I'm a wreck. I mean, I get caught up in everybody else's stuff. It happens every freaking night. Yeah, that was happening to me a lot. Um... I put up a wreck avoidance video that I did a while back when we were at Martinsville. But, um, you know, the biggest thing that I can say is, like, every time you get caught up in a wreck, whether you thought it was your fault or not, watch the replay over and over and over a bunch of times and see if you can learn where the avenue, you know, where the opening was where you could have avoided it. Sometimes there's just no way to go, but usually there's a place where you could have gone had you seen it soon enough. Yeah, here lately I'm putting a lot of red brick into it. It's trying to overturn, and it's not helping when there's a, a wreck, you know. You jump on the brake, it turns the car sideways. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't play with that at all, actually, for what it's worth. No, that should help a little bit. Uh, 57.5 red brick. Fair enough. Yeah. The B cars, they're at uh, Richmond, right? How's that right? Now that the season's over, they're starting to put A, B, and C at different tracks. I might have to run the B cars. Yeah, this over, so, you know, they're just going in the last two weeks. Behind the I stopped running the B cars because their start time is so close to the A cars. I wish they would stagger the B cars to be in on the hour in between when the A cars are on. Well, it's looking like I might get a chance to get back out there. If I'm super slow, I'll stay down here. Don't worry about me. Hey, congratulations. Welcome back. <laughs> yep. Still got eight minutes, so depends on how quick you guys kill this race. Hey, my. It's going. You could have 15 minutes, and uh, you'd surprise me at the end. You're going to line up inside. One minute 41. Yeah, point point six, position, six, so six. 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 Three or four. Yeah, you could get the eight too. You could get up to nineteenth. Yeah, you could get away all all the way up to nineteenth potentially if you get four laps. Yeah, if I can get two, that's fine. Alright, here we go. We're gonna restart from the seventh position. It's going to be 16 to go when we cross the line. Yeah, you'll save a little I rating and a little safety rating. Yeah, right now every little bit counts. Yep. Alright, back green, 16 to go. Restarting in 7th. Make sure you got your switches where you need them. 
That's right. That's exactly what I was talking about. Wreck avoidance. I would be out of the race and outside the top ten. Now we're running fourth because we avoided a wreck. Well, Justin, I think you're going to get back in this thing, man. And look, this 26. I'm going to be right on your bumper, man. Right now, Zach's thinking, why did I waste my time running with these scrubs? Well, my car is screwed. It's fair of garage. It's junk. It's KO. road is open. Uh, did you get caught in that night, Logan? I just barely you missed it. Up behind the tent. Oh, yeah. You should see my cam. My camera, I almost got through it, and then if I came back down the track, then clipped me. Oh, uh, yeah. That's one thing that I learned over time. Even if you think you're by the wreck, swing way lower than you think you need to, because a lot of times you'll get hit by stuff coming back down at you that you don't expect. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on where you're at. Like, if you're at Bristol, I usually try to step high to the to self cleaning track here. Right, yeah, lower high, but I mean, like, you know, leave yourself more room around the wreck than you think you need. You can't always do that, but if there's room available, take it. Especially in series like this that throw the caution in D class with no cautions, it's different. But still, I mean, primary object first and foremost you need to take care of the car and survive to the finish yeah. now we're going to get a restart inside 10 to go yeah that's what got me this race up out of the wall got four toys i just killed the car and then i got caught in the back Can't be many cars left. Yeah, there are only ten on the lead lap. It looks like. Right? Yeah, I mean, I hooked the three, and I pancaked the wall. Didn't hit it really hard. Thirteen on the lead lap. Car ended up small. Good. The nineteen's wrecked. Six, but still got like no speed down. I don't know if the twenty-one's right. wrecked. Yeah, the four's it's only four wrecked. Four and a half minutes too. There's less than. Whenever you get it smoking, it never is the same. Really. Yep. If I could turn back the hands of time, I would have lifted. <laughs> Hindsight's 2020. Really yeah, if I could turn back the hands of time, I would have left the offset where it was on all fight. Yeah, that's what I get, though. That's my first time running this in the A car. So. It feels like there's options though when you come to the corners. It's not really like a preferred line. You're gonna have to come around in seven. That's for me though. I, mean, I feel like I can move around a couple lanes. Yeah. When you start getting around the guys that are really fast, you know, division one, fast, fast guys, they usually run about the middle lane in three and four, right above the first scene. And then one and two, they're all spread out. Yeah, I'm really liking this track. And the other thing I'm noticing is that the more that I come back to tracks, that I, you know, the first time you see a track, you're lost and you don't know what you're doing. But when you hit tracks second, third, fourth, fifth time, and you really start learning them, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, this is one of those tracks you want to let it roll in as you know as far as you can. Let it motor break to the center, and then it cuts beautifully, and then just hammer off. But just on high drive. 
adjust and stop thinking about stop thinking making everyone think you really know how to drive a car. I don't know, it feels real forgiving in uh turn from one and two though. Justin knows how to drive, man. He was second quick in qualifying. He was the only one other one than Zach that one ran go. under a six. Everything takes the way it is I'm right now. You're going to be on the outside. One minute forty-three point six five. Yeah, one. he likes fast one. Yeah, we was pretty fast too. I don't know what his deal was out there. Yeah, Logan, you're usually up in front of me, not behind me, man. I tried that plane at safe, and I'm gonna run in the back and save my tires. That, that don't work. I don't think that's ever worked for me, starting in the back and gaining four or five, ten positions and gaining points. All right, let's finish this. Yeah, we're gonna restart. 11 laps to go. Let's get this thing over with. Justin, how close are you having your uh, repairs done now? 31 seconds and 12 optional. Nice. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get four spots. You'll finish 19th probably, unless some of those guys have come back up. Yeah, if it makes it, I'm seeing a run. Might blow it again. I don't know. All right, Duke, get those down. Yeah, that thing cleaned out real well. Couple poles on that thing. Go. All right, boss man, pay cars off. Top three. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Still out there. All clear, my man. Forty. There we go. Zero. Seven. Three. Keeping up with just about everybody. Good work. Ten to go. It's time. Oh, it's actually running really good. I'm about to get to two or two. second on the 26. Actually matching Zach's time through that corner. Lost a little bit off four there. All right, just focus on the 26. Running my line. Zach's gonna check out. Run third. Second in this one, it's like a win. the apron. I've got to run. 
than I did there. the 10 right now. Oh boy. I am going to race him for it off the corner. Six get away. Outside. Clear high, clear high. He backed up his corner and has a run now down the front straight. Two to go. Two laps to go. On the 26. Inside. White flag is time. Quarter and take the inside one. Dang, nice race in 10, man. Good job. Good win, Zach. Nice race in here with you guys. 26, 10, that was good stuff. Nice win, Zach. Good job out there, driver. Good job. Oh, I got two spots. Well, three. Yeah, girls. Nice, man. All righty. Fourth place finish, I'll take that. I mean, top five. I'm surprised, so I finished second.
Yeah, you were wheeling it to get that second place, man. I was trying to catch you, doing everything I could. Ten, you did a real good job chasing me back down and getting in position, man. I was running like seventh kind of average, and then I, I don't know, I just found something. Let's go back and uh, evaluate that. Let's see, what was it? Got the 17 blinking in front of me. Down low. And I just put the apron and I'm loose. I'm sliding. Trying to save it and just couldn't. And then uh, this right here is the restart where I made. Got myself guaranteed a top five finish. Look at all that. Oh, yeah, the 19. Look at Here's Logan's race going way right here. So let's see. Six right here is really moving around. He comes up into the 10. Just gets turned. Oh, and it... Logan, if you're still on here, man, that was net code that took you out, dude. You had that thing missed. Net code just took the 19 out. That sucks. I don't know what the six was doing there. That's kind of all him. Let's see. probably make more sense from his cockpit. So he starts fourth. Drops down to the inside right behind the 26. And he just swung up into the tent. Just misjudged it. I don't know what the deal was with that. Yeah, it just don't make a lick of sense. Alrighty. Well, that was a good race. Good way to end the evening sign off for now and uh, see you guys next time dang look at that 16 car just all right we got to get a shot of that dude up over and boom boom oh my goodness all right fourth place Save it. And that's going to get us some good eye rating and some good points. And help start. <laughs> Man, look at Zach. This is a dude's eye rating. 68-64. Um, we're back over 3,000. Gain 75. Gain 0.05 on the safety rating, too. Hmm. <clears throat> And 161 points. That will help us. I don't know if the season stats have updated yet. The National Series stats.